Hi guys and welcome to myfitnessbiz.co.uk tutorials. In today's lesson I quickly want to take you through how to create an Amazon A store. So this is a uh, basically an affiliate store from the Amazon platform. Normally I wouldn't recommend using an A store if you've got your own store. But this is a real quick and easy way that FitPro can get online and actually get some affiliate um, links into their website and make a bit of passive income by referring their current clients to products that you would normally recommend by selling them through Amazon. Rather than taking them elsewhere, you can put them on your site and go, okay, you need some coconut oil, go to my store on my website, buy it through there and you can get the exact one. So I'll quickly take you through that today. So first up, I've just created a quick page on my website, it's just going to be a test store, it's not live for anybody else, but you'll be able to see what I'm doing here. And uh, I'd recommend this is for a WordPress website. If you don't have a WordPress website, it may be slightly different for you, but for most of you, you probably will have a WordPress website. I've also logged into my Amazon Associates account. The Associates account is basically the affiliate towards the Amazon um, network, so it's really quickly easy to set up. Just go to Amazon Associates on your Google and uh, set, go through the process of setting it up. I've also just prepared three sort of items that I'm going to sell. I don't know these items very well. I just thought, you know, the standard magnesium oil, foam roller, and a kettlebell that I'm going to recommend and put into my store. Okay, let's get started. So, under Amazon Associates, you log in and you'll see a top menu at the top here. Click on A Store. Okay, and then build an A Store now. Okay, now that you can see there's a four step process in here. So the first thing you want to do is you want to create a category page. This is basically an overview page. You can break them down into say uh, individual categories like uh, supplements and workout equipment. But for the time being, I'm just gonna add a category page here, which is my fitness beard or MFB recommended products. Okay, next you want to see the add individual products. So add products. And you see that you've been taken through to this page here. Now what I do, the reason I've prepared these pages up top to begin with, is that I'm going to be looking for the ASIN number uh, that I'm going to add into here so I can go directly to it. So if I go to the page, the kettlebell, scroll down, and I find the ASIN number here. Select it right click and copy go back to the store right click and paste in the search bar press go and you see the kettlebell neoprene dip kettlebell single six kilogram has come up I want to add that and you see the added products down here I repeat that again for the magnesium oil So exactly the same, copy, paste, and add. And then one more time for the foam roller. I've gone past it, there it is. Copy, paste in there, add. So I've got the three products that I want to add. Now I go back to the category pages. And you'll see there three products added. At any time you can go down and you can see the preview of the store. And it'll open a new tab and you preview what you've got so far. So next continue. And you see you can change the customizer theme the way that it looks. So there's a number of sort of preset themes here, sort of blue and pretty in pink. So the, like the background changes, the header changes, and the link color changes. So just for this example, I'm just going to use a, a blue. But often you see on my website that I've got a white background here. So I want it to be the same color as the website for the background. So I'm going to change the page background to white. Let's just color picker, scroll up to the top left, or enter your hex code here. Press OK and you'll see that it's changed in the live preview. The rest I'm going to keep the same for the time being, but you can play around with the fonts, the text color and the background colors, as well as the body text and link color. 
often actually you may want to change the link color to a to a blue color because that's what people are usually used to seeing on sort of websites and things and, and sort of being an active link give your store a name so I'm just going to give this call it uh, MFB recommended products but you can call it whatever you whatever you like I'll keep the store header in place and you can also add a logo I'm not going to do that on this process but you can add a logo and just make sure that it's the right size that it recommends press continue okay, now this option here gives you the option between sidebar right and sidebar left so if I scroll down and do the preview store again you see that at the moment I've got a right sidebar in here and it says browse by category and similar items actually I don't want to um, have any of these available I don't want to select any of these because I want to keep them on the site and I only want them to use the recommended products that I add I put on the site because I want them to make sure they trust every product that I that's listed on my website so I'll unclick all of these preview store once again just a text that it's gone through and you see now that the recommended ones have gone and it's just our recommended products which are in here click finish and get link and this is store has been published now we can uh, put it into the website so we've got three options here simple link my store is a standalone site so that will be a link through and it will come up in a in an extra tab like you saw with the, the preview embed my store using an inline frame so that's within the website and also a frame set which is sort of a website within a website so normally nine times out of ten I recommend using an inline frame but you can test out the different options for yourself if the process is all the same so now you see this link comes in here so I'll highlight that HTML I'll right click I'll press copy and I'll go across to my website on the page that I want to input it in obviously I'm already signed into WordPress here that's what you've got to do first if you haven't done already and created the page that you want to add it to I've got another video tutorial on how to do that so check out my channel and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already click edit page and then when it loads again because this is HTML code we're pasting we want to go over to the text tab in the top right here so click text go into the dashboard right click click paste and our text has gone up and then as always click update to make sure the changes go through once that stops scrolling we can then view the page to make sure that's appeared on the website and there we have it it's appeared so I can just check the links are working so there people can go through add it to their shopping cart within Amazon they'll recognize the Amazon.co.uk logo they'll feel confident and hopefully they'll purchase and then you'll make around about 5% going up to 9% on any product sold so for 16 pounds of I'm not going to do the maths whilst on video but you can make a bit of money out of it one last thing I want to show you actually is you'll see that it's actually quite a long page and that's because they have a fixed height so I'll just change, show you how to change that quickly so go back to the edit page and you'll see the text here so width 90% so that'll be 90% of the website gives you a, a nice 10% buffer then the height they've got is 4000 pixels so generally I change that down to around about 1000 is always a safe bet or maybe 1500 just to be sure click update click view page again there we have it it's not as, uh, not as much of a as big a page there but obviously if you've got three uh, if you've got nine items on one page then it can scroll down a little bit further so you can just test that out with the best view so there you have it, that's how to embed an Amazon A store into your WordPress website. Like I say, I recommend it if you've got no other store currently on your website and you want to recommend your clients to products that you've sort of tested and know and trust. And then you can also make a nice little bit of affiliate commission on the back end of it. If you haven't done, also re done so already, subscribe to my YouTube channel or like my page on Facebook, My Fitness Biz, and also check out myfitnessbiz.co.uk. Thanks, see you next time. Bye.